The New York City trip was a huge festival which uh, brought people from all over the country together who had the same interests and ideas and they could collaborate together and um, pretty much just have a good time watching all their films together. My favorite part about the trip was probably when we were all just sitting down in a movie theater watching everybody's films and the directors would stand up and it was amazing because that film that was on the screen that was just so good. Uh, you got to actually shake hands with and talk to the producers. It was really cool being able to see all the films and stuff and things that we normally wouldn't get to see in Skinny Atlas. Like, I for one, I mean I love art and everything, but it really opened up my eyes seeing like all these videos and all these new things and just experiencing everything in a different light and it was really fun. Something that was really cool about the festival was that all the videos that you submitted were reviewed and judged by really professional actors uh, from American Horror Stories and Orange is the New Black and it was really cool to have your work sort of critiqued by these really professional people. Uh, some of the other judges included Morgan Spurlock, the director of the documentary Super Size Me, uh, as well as Kristen Stewart from the Twilight series. Um, the first day we got there, we went to the Met and that was really cool. Um, there was a lot of historic stuff there and it was really interesting seeing everything that they had. Besides people that are interested in film, um, I guess anyone could go because we did a lot of activities that weren't film related. We went to museums like the MoMA. Um, the MoMA, it was definitely interesting because it's a different take on artwork. I liked going to the Met and the MoMA because it was just two different styles of artwork. Some people like more historical stuff, some people like more modern stuff. I thought they were both really fun because the chaperones were good about letting us be on our own, but they made sure we were safe while we were still allowed to have freedom. And fun. And fun. <laughs> Walking out of the hotel in the morning was always just awesome because you're just in the middle of one of the biggest cities in the country whereas we come from one of the smallest. New York is overwhelming, especially compared to Skinny Atlas. We live in a small town, there's not a whole lot going on, but in New York City there's cars, people, noise, action. You don't see that around here. One of my favorite parts about the trip was the networking activity where we got to meet and exchange information with other people at the event. It's really cool because you got to uh, talk with a lot of other young filmmakers from around the country and around the world even about this one thing that you have in common. So we got to meet the directors of the films we were seeing on screen and if we wanted to exchange our info so we could work together in the future. Another really fascinating part for me was uh, they had a bunch of cameras on display. They had these really big like multiple hundred thousand dollar cameras right there just on display for us to check out. That was really cool for me because when I asked the uh, people who were running the program if I could check it out, they actually showed me how the camera worked. And handling that piece of equipment was just really uh, inspiring for me as like aspiring film producer. There was also a college fair, which uh, a lot of colleges had booths set up around different levels of the theater that you could visit, and they gave you a lot of information on what kind of programs they had and what kind of majors that you could uh, enroll in when going to their college. Which is really interesting for someone like me who's looking at colleges now and trying to decide where uh, I want to go in the future. The college fair was cool because it gave me a really good idea about where I could go if I wanted to pursue filmmaking or other things in the arts. The college fair on the upper levels was a really insightful part of the trip for me because we got to really get a good look at all of the colleges around us that uh, really support filmmaking and uh, art school. Going to the Keene Theater in Brooklyn for the AMC that was Film so Festival, fun. that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Like seeing all of like the awards like being given out. The awards ceremony was really awesome because for one it was hosted by these famous and successful producers, actors, directors, and um, made it feel pretty professional. The red carpet was really fun to go on and take pictures with. It felt like we were celebrities for a night. Seeing other kids our age receiving these awards from highly respected producers and directors, it really inspired me to try to create something where I can be up on that stage. Most of the people there had a film that was submitted. Nowadays it's so easy for kids like us to have access to like cameras and equipment to make movies. I think that would be really cool if next year a lot of the kids going would uh, create a film and knock it out of the park. Um, this year I'd, I'd say we were definitely very lucky to have this experience. Yeah, New York City is 
like if you're fast paced, you want to go somewhere, like it's for busy bodies, definitely. I think that's why it'd be really good if you want to get into film or something, like go to art school, go to New York City because it's nonstop there. I would highly recommend the New York City trip to anyone who's interested in photography or artwork or anything in the film industry. If anyone is interested in going on the trip next year, I think that they should definitely take up the opportunity. Um, even this year, people who weren't necessarily interested in film, they got a lot of good experience from it. It was the most fun school trip I've ever been on.